What's happening, FTD fam? This is Leroy Kenton here, and I'm back with another reaction video. Now this one, I know I'm smiling because I'm, I'm always excited to explore other topics, but this may not be the most exciting of topics to react to because this video is about when Judgment Day will start. So, I've never seen this video yet. So we're gonna take a look, we're gonna watch it together, and then all my reactions are gonna happen at the end. So, sit down, make sure you're sitting down. Something tells me this one is gonna be intense. This is when Judgment Day will start. My brothers and sisters in Islam, Just as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala began this creation, He will end this creation so that all of it can go into the Day of Judgment. If anyone doesn't believe in the Day of Judgment, it is as though you are saying that Allah created us for no reason, no particular purpose, or no valuable purpose. The people who sinned and killed and harmed, they get off the hook. And the people who strived and struggled and did good, they did it for nothing. And these are one of the reasons that those who don't believe in the hereafter, I think this is one of the reasons why they commit suicide. When they lose all their wealth, or they lose their loved ones, or their job, and they feel that they've got no future. When they lose all connection with life, they commit suicide. One of the main reasons is because they, didn't ha they do not have a belief, an iman, in a life after here. And therefore, they don't, know, they don't know why they're here. And so they can create their own purpose. A lot of them create their own purpose. And some of the purposes they create is family. I'm here for my family. That's a small purpose of life. But that's not the whole purpose of why you're here on earth. Because if that was the whole purpose, then Allah will keep us living forever here. Why is there death? Why does Allah take members of the family before? What, and it's strange how some people say before their time. What does that mean? He went before his time. It's as though we knew when everyone's going to die. What do you mean before his time? <laughs> death has no age. And this life is not paradise. And we're not meant to stay here. We are here for a different reason. We are here to grow our here after. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us and He will judge us in the hereafter because He is the just one. He knows where we're going to be, but we don't know where we're going to be. So in order that we don't argue with God on the day of judgment, Allah says, you can go through the life and see it for yourself. And on the day of judgment, your whole life will be reversed. You will see yourself from the moment you died, you will see everything going backwards. You're living and it's all, you're reliving the moments until you are a baby and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves you from that so you can stay alive so you don't return back until nothingness you see it all forwards and then backwards everything and so people who deny their hands and their feet and their eyes and their ears and all of that will bear witness that you did it there is no running away on that day but before that day comes, there are signs. And it's quite unusual that some people, they say, I didn't have a sign before I died. Everyone has a sign before they died. Die. Everyone. Everyone. But these signs are different. They come in various forms. Some people have immediate signs of death before they die, such as illness, such as even spiritual feelings. Others, they don't have any of these signs. It just hits them like that. But the signs I'm talking about is time. Time. As time progresses, as you grow in age, you're actually getting smaller in age. Every minute that we grow, we're actually getting, our life is getting shorter. And therefore, Time is one of the signs. Age is another. White hair is another. Wrinkles. And the Prophet ﷺ said, 
Everything has a cure, except for two things. Everything has a cure. لكل داء دواء. Every illness has a cure. If you find it, he'll be cured, except for two things: الموت والهرم, death and age, old age. You can't reverse it. All those commercials you see on television about Nivea and this cream or that cream. I don't know their names, but you know, all these creams telling you because you know your life and they put these women and men up there as though they have this really fresh skin. That, that's, that's a lie. It's, they're just deceiving you. There's no cure for old age. The other signs of the world's end, my dear brothers and sisters, are literal signs that the Prophet ﷺ told us. When I say literal, meaning they are real. But their descriptions are really unknown to us in, 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 in detail. But they are actual things that are going to happen if, that, that will be shared by everyone. So there's specific signs for yourself and there are common signs for everyone else. They are the signs of the last hour. I'm not going to go through them in detail today because that's not our topic. But I'm just going to go through it focusing on the world's end. We're talking about the hereafter. This world ending shows us that when Allah says that everything's going to die, it means everything in this world, including the world itself. Allah says in the Quran, كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything on it will perish. The only thing that will be left is your Lord. The presence of your Lord. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in several verses that the world and the sky will perish. And the Prophet ﷺ used to say, Dunya faniya. The world is going to perish. A man asked him again, when is the last hour? He said, don't ask about that. What have you prepared for it? But the point is, they're asking because the Prophet had told them, the world's going to end. Allah says, يَوْمَ تُبَدَّلُ الْأَرْضُ غَيْرَ الْأَرْضِ وَالسَّمَاوَاتِ the earth, the world, and the sky will be changed. From the world and the sky you knew once to another world and sky. Meaning Allah is going to destroy it and recreate another. Different to it. Destroy it, make another one. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He replies to those who deny the end and resurrection. By saying, look at the life that you live in now. So Allah says, look at the way we created the life as an example of why, how we are going to resurrect you. Look at how he sends winds and clouds as a good sign for you of mercy. So you can have water, so you can grow your crops and eat. When the clouds fill up, we take it to a land that is dead. Land that has no crops, nothing. It's dry, drought. And from it, we bring back life of fruits كذلك, just like that Allah says كذلك, just like that or similar to that we will raise the dead people I say to Allah says I say this to you in the hope that you may remember and reflect so there are many signs or ayat of this and Allah says behold you shall be resurrected the signs are many there are minor signs and major signs. As for the minor signs, they began when? Who knows when they began? The minor signs of the closeness of the world's end. The death of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Naam, his death. So that's 1,437 years ago now. To us it seems a long time. But I want to say two things. If you're 10 years old, 30 years old, 40, 50, 60, you know, 
in your mind you know it was a long time ago but how do you feel you feel like it was only yesterday isn't that right 60 years 100 years it feels like just yesterday in your mind you know it was a long time ago but feeling it's only a little bit if you lived for a thousand years wallahi it's going to feel the same there's a narration about Nuh alayhi salam he lived for a thousand and about 150 or up to three, 1,350 years, different narrations, but more than 1,000 years. And on his deathbed, the people asked him, how, did you, how do you feel living all this long time? And he says, it's like, he said, it's like a person opened a door, took a step to the other side and then closed the door. And he's trying to say that it's, you don't even feel it. It just passes like that. So whether you're now or in 30 years time it's the same thing you're going to feel the same as now so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran اقترب للناس حسابهم وهم في غفلة يلعبون the day of accountability has come very close to the people while the people are in are in an illusion of their own غفلة they're forgetful of it they're too busy to away from it يلعبون. they're playing they're playing around Allah says do you not consider that when the day comes it may come to you while you are playing or while you are just in ghafla forgetfulness or unaware so when the world ends brothers and sisters it will be a time where the majority of the people of the world are going to be in losthood, forgetfulness, ghafla, meaning unaware, too busy with imaginations and illusions and things, ideas they've made up. People will be busy in their world of music. Why do I say music? Because the music has an extraordinary effect on the mind and the heart. People listen to it to get out of misery and sadness and get out of the reality of life. But it doesn't take them towards good. It doesn't take them towards God. It doesn't take them towards the Quran. It doesn't take them towards going and doing, you know, good deeds. They'll just do what the song tells them to do. If it's love, they'll live love. If it tells them about death, they'll probably commit suicide. If it tells them about Satanism, they'll go and worship Satan. Whatever the song tells them, they start living it. Some people are living in a world of money. So. They try to bring up all this money and try to live in it. They're in that ghafla. They want to forget about death. So they're busy with luxury, entertainment and all of that stuff. So that was a video titled, This is When Judgment Day Will Start. I think that this video would have been more accurately titled that Judgment Day is coming because it didn't necessarily tell us exactly when Judgment Day will start. I know it made mention that there's going to be one day that we're going to die and then the minor signs and the major signs of the end one of them being the passing of the prophet muhammad and it still i feel didn't answer the question of when judgment day is actually going to start but either way it did bring up some interesting uh, concepts and beliefs and insights about the belief of judgment day in islam that i thought were pretty interesting like the whole idea of people living for a long period of time and whether we live for a long period of time 50 years uh, 60 years 100 years um one person even over a thousand years will still feel the same like we did way back then and as i was watching that part i was really thinking about it too i'm like okay i've lived three decades how do i feel well i feel younger than ever or I just, I still feel young. But at the same time, I'm like, oh my God, my body has aged. I've developed these wrinkles, these white hairs. I see these white hairs pop up on my beard. I'm like, bro, you weren't there before. So signs like that, minor signs that show that I'm aging, but I still feel like I felt when I was a kid. <laughs> and another part that I thought was interesting in this video was a part closer to the end where he mentioned that people are 
going to be caught up in their music and use it as a way to escape reality, escape all their sorrows and escape the idea that one day they are actually going to die. I think some people can use music that way and some people will listen to the words word for word in the song and act them out. We all know music has a very powerful effect on us. They put music everywhere. Music is everywhere. It's used in all different forms, in movies, TV, just listening to it on the radio. So we know music affects us, but I don't think it's a full and accurate to believe that anyone that really loves to be immersed in the world of music is only going to listen to what the music says. If I listen to every single song that I listen to, or if everybody did that, like word for word, bruh we would be a lot more messed up than we are now. So I don't know exactly where he was basing that part from, but I just found it really interesting that he made a claim like that. And, you know, I think the idea of Judgment Day can do one of two things. It can really excite somebody, uh, pique their interest, or give them hope, give them more life and energy. It's like, oh my God, I have this new future that's awaiting me. So it's going to make my experience on this life so much better. That's one category. And then I think the other category is people who see the judgment day and are like, uh-uh, it's not for me. Or, oh my God, I'm so scared. Am I gonna be judged bad? Uh, am I gonna be judged good? I don't know how it's gonna go. And then live in anxiety and everything that you do is just, oh my God, I'm gonna be judged for that. I'm gonna be judged for that. And then we don't necessarily enjoy the current life. And I think that sometimes that is the idea that's lost where even though you may believe in the judgment day and for some people, depending on your religious background, it can be different. But for the most part, the major religions do have some kind of judgment day concept. So if you believe in it, which I'm sure most of you who are watching this right now do believe in it, I don't think it negates the idea that you can also enjoy this life now. There may be some parameters that you need to follow based on your religious beliefs. And within those parameters, you can enjoy your life. But to, I think, just delay every single thing for the judgment day and the hope and the wish that you're actually going to make it to heaven, it can leave a lot of people feeling very bitter. I know back in my super ultra religious days, that was my experience a lot of the time. Like this life just became very bitter and I was so judgmental and, 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 and condescending on, on people. Because I'm like, oh my God, how could they be doing that? Don't they know that the judgment is coming? And then I'll tell people the judgment is coming. And then I became like this, this ball of negativity and judgment that I just wasn't a good person to be around. So I think that is just something to look out for. And that's something I'm also going to be mindful that I'm looking out for as well even though I'm not as ultra religious as I used to. And I say ultra religious because I don't have any other term for it. It was just, I had a specific way that I lived my life and that was the only way that anybody should live their life. And I was just kind of caught up in that. But that's all I'm gonna say for this reaction. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, I wanna hear from you. What are your thoughts about judgment day anything that was shared in the video that i watched or anything that i shared also let me know your thoughts about that down below if you enjoyed this one leave a like these likes really do help and if this is your first time here at the channel hit that subscribe button ring that bell because you get to continue with me and my journey as i learn about the different religions and cultures of our world all right guys awesome hanging out with you as usual i'll see you next time later mm.